casino, love it or hate it. So I actually live a block away from the casino. Yep. And I I had mixed feelings about it initially because I was like, uh, do you really want that? There's a lot of traffic already on that that corner just because of the bottleneck. But I think it's actually gonna be a really like great addition to the neighborhood just because right now it's just this empty piece of land. And so what would have gone there anyway? And they're gonna improve the river walk. They're gonna build this amazing, beautiful building. It's gonna have a restaurant in it. It's gonna have the hotel. So, I mean, there's a lot of like positives that I think will come from it. Right. Um, you know, real estate is always really scary. How, how do you think real estate is going to react to this? In your your opinion, I know we're putting you on the chopping block. This is professional knee-jerk reactions. Yeah. So we always talk about new construction being sometimes there's like different phases, right? Mm -hmm. So the initial is always the scariest part, just the initial conversation. Yep. And then when construction starts, that's the next like big scary moment sure. but ultimately i think it's gonna do really well for values i think like the neighborhood on that side is very residential and it's very quiet part of river north so it's going to be really nice to like actually get a little bit more Pulse. traction and yeah. get more people into the neighborhood because that benefits commercial space like right now they're building up chicago avenue they're seeing all those like rental buildings being built yeah. so you're st starting to see like a lot of people oh, just moving into the neighborhood which is really kind of nice to see yeah. especially after the pandemic right for certain for certain and, and yeah we've talked about it is that downtown is coming back right coming back with a vengeance people are excited to be downtown the activities summer especially yeah. the river we minus when we had that big brainstorm that seemed to wipe it out <laughs> um but yeah there's definitely a good pulse i think i think i you and i pretty much see eye to eye on this i think Long term, it's going to be a good thing for the city. Mm -hmm. I think we tend to get very worked up about things, right? And mm -hmm. we, right now, because we don't know what it's going to do, it's easier to relate to the pessimistic side of it, right? It's easier for people, especially in the neighborhoods, to look at all the negatives that it's going to bring yeah. because we just don't know all the positives. Um, so I, I agree with you. I think long term, it's going to be a great thing for the area. I think it's absolutely going to be an improvement of what it was. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to bring in some great tax dollars for the city, which we are in That's dire need of, yeah. uh, which is, I think, great. Um, you know, for me in the real estate realm, and it's funny because we actually just sold a condo right down there that's going to like, face look the right construction. <laughs> and, the, and the seller said to us towards the end of last year, when do I sell? I want to sell. When do I sell knowing that this is going to be on people's minds? And my recommendation to him was that the toughest time to sell his condo that literally overlooked the construction was going to be while construction was going on. So I said, either you pack up quickly and we get it done now, mm -hmm. or you wait until more of the structures are actually built and we're doing it a little bit longer term because it's yeah. in that middle, that question mark where it's very real, it's very happening, but we can't quite understand what it's going to look at. I think that's yeah. when we see the negative impact on it. Yeah. Um, and so I think that, yes, it could have some impact, especially on those on those buildings that look at it. But I think long term, it's going to be it's going to be a good thing for the city. Yeah, I mean, like I think that's a general question anyway. Like in in anywhere downtown, it's parking lots are always fair game, right? And so even when you're buying a condo, even more inland, and you're like, all right, there's like you have a beautiful view right now. What do you say to those people? So I, mean, I remember right? <laughs> when I was newer in this industry, I probably had been in the industry for about a year. And I was doing my due diligence and my client was interested in a building and there was a parking lot to the east of it. And it wasn't a big parking lot, but I called up the Department of Zoning and I got a lovely woman to get on the phone with me. And I said, hi, my name's Amanda McMillan. I'm trying to get a little bit of insight <laughs> on this lot here. Can you tell me what can be built? Can you tell me if there's any applications on it? Can you give yeah. me any insight? And she, I think she was laughing at me. She basically said, sweetheart, Oh, she a is sweetheart. a sweetheart. A sweetheart. Okay. She goes, sweetheart, if it's a parking lot in downtown Chicago, it may not be built today. It may Fair not again. be built tomorrow. But at some point, that property is going to be built, and that is the best advice I can give you. Yes. So absolutely. It's definitely something in consideration. Yeah. Anytime you see some vacant property, now once again, we, we know that you know, depending on the size of the lot, what they can build and those types yeah. of things. But it's always fair game and always something that you have to take in the back of your mind. My last place in River North literally looked over this little parking lot and they built a 10 story building right there. And it was tiny. You would never expect it. But yeah, it happens. Hopefully you were on the 11th floor. I wasn't. But 
I was on the second, so I didn't have a view anyway. Okay. So it wasn't like a big deal for me, but it, yeah. but you're just like, that is a tiny lot. Yeah. So it No, works. absolutely. 